What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Godspeed from DC Rebirth. And so here we have Godspeed posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories really fast. Godspeed does come with two lighting attachments that he can put on his body, so those do look really nice. And of course he does come with a McFarlane display base. Other than that, Godspeed doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at Godspeed, and McFarlane has done a really great job with this figure. Now, this is one of the newer characters that came out of DC Rebirth that everybody loves, and you know what? I do like Godspeed too. I think his story was really nice. I love his costume design. It's really nice and very cool. I do like his appearance in the CW Flash, although not a fan of that season. But anyway, having a look at the figure, absolutely love the way this figure came out. They did a really good job with the mask overall. You can see the wrinkles in his face look really nice. And again, I do apologize about my lighting. I'm still working with a new set of lights, so bear with me while I get used to these ones. But anyway, Godspeed here looks very nice. I do like the detailing throughout his costume. There's a lot of nice detailing throughout his costume. It's very, very subtle in some places, but other places you can obviously tell that there is some contrast, especially like right here in his shoulder, how we have almost like this quilted pattern, and then we have the texturing all throughout his costume, which was not present in the comics. This is more of a McFarlane um, in liberty that he's taking with the costume, but I'm all for it. It looks really nice. I do want to point out that it is interesting that his neck piece is a separate piece from the rest of his torso. You can actually see the seam line going throughout the neck, which makes me wonder if they're going to make an unmasked Godspeed because you can see a seam line right here going all the way around back here. So that makes me wonder if we're going to get a gold label unmasked Godspeed. So or if they're going to adapt this into the CW version of Godspeed, who knows, but it's still a very nice looking figure. I love the gold, how they contrast with the whites and the texturing throughout it is very good. The sculpt work is fantastic. You see all the sculpt work right here, the wrinkles in his costume, the detailing right here with the gold. All this is raised up. It's not just painted line work. And he is using the new style of McFarlane joint where it blends a little bit better. It's no longer just a ball socket. It's an actual sculpted piece and I think that works fantastic. You can see his gloves are very nice. I do like it. Just had to or crack that joint really fast but overall I do like the way this Godspeed came out and I do think that this is the first Godspeed figure we've gotten I don't think we saw one from DC collectibles but yeah I really do like it and just like I said the texturing on his costume is very good top-notch I think this is one of my favorite speedster costumes that they've come out with it's very different from the Flash, Rebirth Flash and Reverse Flash, and it's a really nice contrast to those costumes. Really do like the line work right here going down his suit. And like I said, we have some more contrasting textures. We have that quilted pattern right here. Then we have the smoother texture out here on the side going all the way down. This looks very nice. Even on the back of the knees now has texturing, and that's something I really do like going to his boots where we have some more of this line work throughout his costume again the newer joint so it does look a little more seamless it's no longer that atrocious ball joint which I am happy McFarlane figured out how to do that and then going on to his boots where we do have the silver soles and more texturing right here just absolutely filled to the brim with textures McFarlane did a really good job taking the liberties they did with this figure and adapting it to action figure format and I think this is one of their better stronger releases. Godspeed here is a fantastic looking figure. Now on mine you can see one of his ears is a little bit warped out of packaging. It's nothing I can't fix with a hair dryer so I'm not too worried about it. So with that out of the way guys let's actually get Godspeed compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Godspeed posing next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Godspeed posing next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Godspeed posing next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. 
And for a final comparison, here we do have Godspeed posed next to the McFarlane Rebirth Flash and the McFarlane Rebirth the Reverse Flash. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to Godspeed's articulation. Now Godspeed does have a double ball joint in the head, which does let him look up to about right there. He can look down very nicely, so I do like that. And then of course his head does turn left and right, as well as has some really nice rotation and bobble. He does have a ball socket here in the shoulder, so that does pivot forward back all the way around so that works nice and I do like the fact that his torso is a softer piece so you can see it does flex out of the way giving some better movement so that's really nice his arms do go all the way around out to the side no problem we have a bicep swivel which works really nice double bend here in the elbow we have a hinge here at the wrist as well as rotation then we have swivel here at the wrist although it's a little bit stiff on mine and I'm not going to try to force it uh, let's see if this one Oh, that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, his wrist does rotate on that pin. Then we do have a ball joint here in the torso, which does lean back to about right there. Leaning forward. Oh, that's actually some really good ab crunch, so I do like that. Then we have tilt here in his torso, as well as rotation at that mid cut. At the waist, we have another ball joint, which does let him lean back about that far. Leans forward. Ooh, that's really good. I do like the way he leans forward. Leans to the side nicely, and then, of course, rotates at that waist joint. Legs do kick forward to about right there. They kick back. Out to the side, no problem. We do have a little bit of a thigh swivel. Not much, but it's something. Then we do have double bend here at the knee, going all the way back. We have rotation here at his ankle. Then we have a hinge which goes back and forward. Forward facing pin for rocker ankle. And then you can rotate that to give him a true rocker ankle. And then finally we do have a very generous toe hinge. So overall Godspeed here has some pretty good articulation and I am happy with it. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get Godspeed posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the McFarlane DC Multiverse Godspeed pose for my final thoughts and overall I absolutely love the way Godspeed came out. I really was looking forward to this figure and I'm not going to lie, this figure does not disappoint. I love the fact that he does come with the new uh, articulated joints where it looks like it's a solid sculpt rather than a ball joint. That's a really good step in the right direction for McFarlane. I absolutely love his articulation too. He doesn't look it but he actually does get a lot of good poses and you can get him in some really, really good running poses if you really put the effort in. His articulation is far better than what we've seen in the past. And if McFarlane keeps making improvements like this, I know they're going to do even better things with the DC license. Now, if you are looking for Godspeed here, I would really recommend checking your local Walmarts and Targets. Because I did find my Godspeed from Walmart, which he did run me a little bit over $20. Which is a little bit odd. I think that Walmart is upcharged for McFarlane figures they really should only be charging $19.99 not $20.49 but it's still a really nice figure and I love the way Godspeed came out the detailing on him is superb and McFarlane went all out on this figure so I can't really complain too much if you are looking for Godspeed he is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video so check your Walmarts, Targets, Walgreens, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store and other retails that you pick up your action figures from Godspeed here makes a really good impression on me and looks good when you have him posed next to other speedsters from the Rebirth storyline. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC Multiverse videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always, Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.